Hey guys, this is Brian with Vet Source. Checking in today. What I got for you is I'm on a little walking tour from one of the smaller salvage yards around town, junkyards, looking for good parts for the Cadillac Alante that we're putting back together again. Just kind of moseying through here to see what I can come up with. Kind of an example of some of the good stuff that you find in these yards now that everybody has discarded all these cars from the 90s and uh, everywhere else that they don't want to work on or don't know how to work on. A pair of Mustang convertibles here. So there's actually a lot of good stuff out here uh, to be acquired if you're kind of a do-it-yourselfer. As you can see, there's cars everywhere that really, some of them have some damage and some of them don't. Uh, so you can kind of see what we're looking at here. This is an Eldorado. If this is the right year model, this might work. What we're doing is we're looking for an ECM for the Cadillac Alante. This one unfortunately has a North Star, so it's gonna be the wrong ECM that we're not needing. But just thought I'd take a tour of this real quick so you guys could see some of what's out here, you know? Uh, nice Nissan Pathfinder tagged in the front. Nothing too bad, bad enough to put it here, but still got a lot of good stuff on it. So as you can see, this kind of is a wasteland of cars and parts that would otherwise be usable to keep some of these older cars on the road but most of the time what we get is a disposable kind of mentality where we just throw cars away when we don't know how to work on them and a lot of times I try to inspire people and say look your car has a lot of life left in it don't necessarily throw it away just keep working on it so you see back here Always my favorite. It's a nice good work truck. Looks like it's been used up pretty good. It's interesting how that mirror just rusted right through. Never really seen that. That looks like it might have been towards the end of its useful life. But yeah, it's uh, an interesting business this. Salvage side of things. Because all of these, if you look at them, somebody one time paid big money for these. I mean, in some cases as much as a house to buy these cars brand new and finance them and look at them here throwing away like a bunch of discarded broken toys so you can see it's kind of an interesting situation here now of course good news is all these cars are going to get recycled again back into the mix oh look there's two Cadillacs right there and they might have the computer I'm looking for so let's see this one here is a DeVille this one has the 4.9 port fuel injected motor. This is a, let's see what we got here. And this is a 90 model. So it's one year too early for me. It's a nice square body truck, Chevy truck. For you square body fans, it is a long bed, but it's still a square body with 350 in it. And then over here, we got another DeVille. This one I think is too new. Let's see, yeah, that's a 98. So it's gonna be a North Star in that one, so we can't use that one either. So, it's an old Chevy Caprice Expedition. Piles and piles of rims. We'll come back over here. We'll look in our back row with some trucks. There's a Lincoln up here. F-150, Explorers, Taurus. Mercury, F-150 Fords, Lincoln Town Cars, Signature Series at that, which that's always pretty depressing, but there's another one right there, and this has probably got, look at that, a 5 liter HO motor in it, go figure, and it's just sitting back here, nobody really cares, so just some interesting things in the salvage yard that you'll find. While you're running around, a lot of these are smaller pick-apart type yards. That's an interesting little display on the side of a van. It's kind of cool. So yeah, these are just miscellaneous ramblings with me through the salvage yard as I look for stuff for these cars. I'm going to keep this video rather short because I've got to start digging through some cars. Just thought I'd give you guys a heads up. This is pretty much what I do quite constantly, so if you like the videos, let me know. I'll keep making them. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check back with me often as I update more stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. 
All right, guys, just a quick uh, finish and update to the end of our video here. You've seen me exploring this uh, junkyard, urban decay, and sprawl, diving for a computer for the 92 Elante that we're putting back together. And lo and behold, here we go. Here was a 91 DeVille uh, sedan DeVille with the actual correct part number, everything, um, ECM computer that I was looking for for the Elante. Looks like in pretty good shape. Interesting thing, like I was telling you, what's amazing is some of the waste and things that go on in these junkyards. And you see this car really is not in bad shape. Um, but you can look at it and see this thing had a temporary tag on it that expired at the end of July this year. So somehow this car went from being a car that somebody bought to register and six weeks later here it is sitting in a scrap yard so just goes to show you some of the interesting things you can find if you've got the time to dig through these scrap yards and look around there's so much stuff literally it gets produced you can always find things and here we are for 10 bucks I'll walk out of here and get ECM that I need for the uh, Alante so thanks for tuning in guys again appreciate you checking out my videos please subscribe so I can make some more for you to show you uh, kind of some of this fun stuff that I do and looking through junk cars and salvage cars and all the good stuff that comes with it. Uh, talk to you soon. Thanks.